All right, so unfortunately my computer had some issues and I lost some content including the save file for the destined world um, Which I was finding a little chaotic anyways There was a lot of stuff that was happening and I was taking it pretty quick But I feel like you know what I want to be playing Dwarf Fortress as a slower game as it's intended in my opinion It's supposed to be about storytelling and realistically I didn't get much story out of my last one because I was so worried about making a big mountain home so in this one i'm going to try and slow it down a little bit we're going to create a new world but i'm going to use what blind recommended and play with sparse uh middle occurrence i debated on doing natural savagery low you know what i'm going to do that as well mainly because i do want this to be again a learning playthrough um for mods i'm going to use the audible alerts we're not going to do the squad burrow icons um uh, mainly because they've added vanilla ones now or more so i want to see what those are uh the smoothing is good i'm not going to worry about aquifers yet uh interface tweaks yeah i might as well do that we'll do the better instruments we're going to try reduce z fog because i hear it just makes it look a little more visible and then this is supposed to add i think we got to remove what did it say vanilla creature graphics so we're going to take vanilla creature graphics out and we're going to put it in this one and so basically, like it says, some races don't have all the materials of their weapons and armor shown by the graphics. So when people were raiding and invading, you don't really know what they're wearing because they all are wearing the same color. So we're going to try that out. Um, otherwise, sparse, a low natural savagery. So let's see what we come up with. Okay, so we're going to specify a little bit. I don't need to worry about the aquifer. I want a flux stone layer. Because I want you to make iron uh, into steel. And then I want to make glass this time. So I definitely want some sand. Um, I wonder if I could specify, put some clay in there too. Because I can make pottery industry. Um, I don't care about gold. Oh, so I don't care about silver. It could be. But I definitely want iron. Nickel. Actually, let's just try to try this. See what we end up with. Between clay, sand, iron, and a flux layer. And then we'll check out our origin civilization. Um, and see where's a good option. These guys look pretty decent. They're also huge. 4,300 population. I wonder if the population affects the migrant waves that come your way. That would kind of make sense. That's the strong south. Hatchet of craters. What about over here? See, this looks like my kind of jam right there. So we've got deep soil, some soil, clay and sand. We got an iron... Now, I don't know if iron is the only thing we're going to get. Because that looks like... Well, I think that'll be do iron and steel. Now, one thing I also kind of been informed is that a smaller embark lowers your frames per second. So, I expanded really quick and I feel like I lost a lot of frames just by not being organized and having dwarfs everywhere and dwarfs not doing things. So I'm going to leave it as 4x4 four four for now, but I think I might be changing that in the future. Let's look at the elevation too. So right on the edge. So we'll be on like a kind of on a cliff side there, I think. Okay. Um... I'm not an expert at preparing carefully, although I do have a pretty good idea of what you need. Though I don't know how the whole system works. It is an autofill, so I'm not going to worry about preparing carefully. In fact, I'm going to delete that one that I tested. And let's just get to it. I also took off the frequency of saves. Um... Oh, okay. I kind of see what the Z-level thing did. I don't mind that. 
you can kind of see the trees are like a lower level down. Yeah, I'm going to take off R, but I, uh, it still classifies it as open space. Yeah, and then when you move down. Okay, great. What do we got? We got sand there. We got a shale wall. Perfect. So mainly because I had a guy go crazy because I didn't have sand planned ahead for when he wanted to create an artifact. Uh, so I want to have, or was it glass? He wanted something. Sand or glass, can't remember. Okay, so it looks like yeah, we got a fair bit of trees to work with too. Okay, so we're going to start off. I always say go chop some trees right away. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to mine into this mountain right in between. We're going to get a little bit of the shale here. We'll see what happens. And we'll go into the sand. So I'm going to mine this out that far. And while I'm here, I also like to get rid of these ramps. So, oh wait, no, is that, oops, that was channel. Get rid of those ramps and then dig out that. And then before I unpause, I put out a couple zones such as the pen and pasture. And then I like to fill it up with these goats. I'm going to put the bunnies out there and the yaks. And then the cats and dogs can do what they want. Now, we could worry about animal training, but I'll do that in a minute. I, uh, basically, from my understanding, is you kind of want your dogs to be something, whether it's a war dog or a hunting dog. So it looks like the game gave me all females. So right now, they're not going to be reproducing. But I think what I will be doing, you know what? I'll worry about that later. For now, we'll just do the basics. And then I like to set up a... So there's going to be guys fishing from my understanding. So that means we're going to need a refuse stockpile. Um, so we'll put it a little bit out of our door here. Uh, except we're going to put refuse. And I'll probably change that later so that there's not any shells in there because I'll want the shells closer because if there's mussels, uh, we got a river. Yeah, we got a brook. So if there's mussels and stuff in there, we'll have an insane amount of shells. Uh, okay, so I want to put a corpse stockpile even though we probably don't need it right away. Is it a corpse stockpile or is it like a garbage dump? Uh, we could put one of those too, even though I think that's manually placing stuff. We'll just throw that there. But yeah, we want a stockpile for the corpses as well too. So we'll put, oops, we'll put stockpile there for corpses. Okay, so they're going to dig that out. The animals are going to go over there. I'm going to get them to gather some stuff, even though they have no place to put it right away. I can't gather these ones. Uh, there's not a ton but these trees will drop fruit and we'll make use of that later okay so we're going to let everybody get oh wait the other thing I wanted to do which is utmost importance is we want to labor okay kitchen turn off uh, the cooking of plump helmets because you lose the seeds and then there's a standing order for ignore outdoor refuse, workers gather outdoor refuse, they ignore outdoor vermin remains. So if I get lungfish, which are awful, they're going to ignore them. I think we'll gather them for now. No, we'll ignore them for now and double check that. We might not even have the lungfish anyways. Uh, they're going to dig that out. And just double check. I don't need any of these areas. Just a second. Um, but then we'll go back to our labor menu really quick. And I'll turn my... I'll let my Fisher Dwarf go fishing. 
spell turn the metal crafter and the mason into miners because they start you off with extra picks so they should do a little bit of this then they should grab their picks and get to work so there we go we got them mining away there so as you can see they burn through the sand a lot quicker than the shale okay they got me one shale block so let's build a carpenter workshop right here oh we got logs too but we'll use that Okay, so it looks like we're in a nice sandy area. Um, I don't want to go too deep, but I want to go down. So I'm going to start by going one, two, we're on a hillside, eh? Three, four, five, six. I'm, I'm going to want to probably go down at least under the water layer. So we're going to dig all the way down there. We'll dig quite a few layers, but we shouldn't run into a cavern or anything yet. Um, they're going to craft that. And then once that's made, we're going to make three beds just to get a place to sleep. And then I like to honestly make a rush to work orders. So you're going to require, uh, what do they call it in here? Is it not a throne? Is it a chair? I'm going to make a wooden chair. And do we have doors as well? Just because we're going to make them do that all quick. And now the one thing I've started to notice is that there's storage in a workshop. If I'm if I'm understanding it correctly, I at one point thought I was not getting my coke made out of bitumen, coal or lignite. And it was actually in the shop. So we're going to let them do that as they, they've dug down. We're at a sandy clay wall, shale, bauxite. Great. Limestone. Okay, we're going to let them finish digging this out and then decide. There's magnetite. I think we're going to go into both these layers here. So this layer we're going to use as our uh, stockpile. I like to do this too because if I need water, I can kind of pull it in on this layer and work at it. But anyways, let's dig out a area like that. And then down here, what I might just do is set this as the lower priority. But I'm going to get them to mine all of that. And using this feature here, they're going to keep mining that vein. So then I can kind of work off what they mine out and decide where, um, yeah, decide where I want to build. And then after that, actually, no. Before that, we're going to turn this layer here into our farming layer. So we'll mine that. Oops, I'm still on that one. So we'll mine that all out after they're done on the main floor. Now, one of the one of my favorite tips I've learned, actually, so yeah, what we'll do now is we're going to put a stockpile here. No, I don't want that to cover the stairs, actually. I don't like that at all. Um, actually, we're going to mine a bit more of it out after they're done up there. But up here is more important. Because we're going to go workshops and we're going to make sure we have a farming area. We're going to build a farm plot. And I haven't uh, worked on the, um, what's it called? Uh, fertilizing yet. But uh, from my understanding, oops, it makes... So part of the reason why there's no crosshairs, I think I'm on keyboard cursor mode. So we'll go back and I'll show you that again. Um, when I start, uh, one, two, three, four, five, there is no cursor. But I could go like this, I think, hit enter, and then there you go. So it's it's weird, but you can make do without it. So they're going to fill that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a stockpile here for custom food and seeds. We want all of the seeds to get stored there. And then we're also going to build a workshop a farming. And we the first thing dwarfs need more than anything is uh, booze. So we're going to have a still here that's going to 
cook the food. Right now we're going to store the food here as well. We're going to keep all the food just kind of stored on this layer. And then later on we're going to spread it out and make it more accessible for our dwarves. But right now I want a stockpile here for custom food and all drink, plant and animal. So mead and wine and beer. And then no other food there because we're going to put all the other food right here. And then we'll go custom. And in this case, we select food. We select all. And then we're going to just unselect them the opposite way. So unselect those two and get rid of seeds. So when you think about it, we've covered all three categories. Food, seeds, and drink. One, two, three. Uh, the shale will get moved and later on we'll build more uh, farming areas and hopefully I'll figure out fertilizing in this playthrough. Uh, that's the idea. Take it a bit slower. As you notice, I've had the game paused most of the time um, while I figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so these guys are going to go mine that back out. The panda is fighting. I don't know. I don't even want you to fight. Oh, man. I don't want my dog to fight a panda. Ah, oh, see, there is lungfish. So F1 goes back to your starting cart. And I wonder if for now, maybe I should have the dogs just in the pen so they're not roaming. So we'll go back to this area. I'm going to actually just make it a little bit bigger. Except, and we're going to, I'm going to put all the animals in there for now. Ideally, I train my animals a bit and then uh, let them go out and fight. Um, so what we're going to do... Oh, I'm going to put a pause in it here. Down so they got somewhere to sleep. So let's go furniture bed. And for now, you guys are just going to hunker down. Oops, we can go furniture bed. They're just going to hunker down in the hallway over here. And we'll use closest material and then we'll just throw I don't think we really you know that not belong to particular citizens we'll just throw it down I don't know if it's required but we'll throw a dormitory there um, so that we go back up and this farm plot is building now as soon as she's done we're gonna set it to make Plump helmets all year round. That's going to be our primary food source. Potentially maybe a little bit of fish or mussel if they pull anything out of the river. Um, I know that you can actually make cages and then capture fish that way. But I'm not going to go that route because plump helmets seem to usually handle the scenario. So back on the surface, I want to also get to making barrels actually no yeah yeah well what we'll do is we'll prioritize the bins i think because the bins are where they're going to store the good more uh economically so we can prioritize the bins to happen right away and then the next thing i'm going to do is now that i know oops look i'm going down the wrong way next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go and press the h key and I wish this showed you, or this was more uh, noticeable. It's going to allow you to bind locations on the map. So I'm going to be coming here a lot. So I'm going to rebind this location to F2. Uh, so what I'll call this is um, workshop. And then what we'll probably do is make this floor down here. Oh, they're mining that out. Yeah, we'll let them, but we'll call this one. We'll just, we'll just bind it right now, F3, and this one will be living for now. And then so that way you can just cycle between your uh, your frequently used locations using the F keys. Um, so beds are going to go there. They're going to build some barrels, but we're going to move a stockpile here now. That is going to contain... Pretty much everything except we don't want any stone 
I don't want any wood in here. I don't want any refuse or corpses. Um, we'll let everything but food. So, yeah, everything is going to go into this stockpile for now. So, hopefully that's done. Take it tight, red tar. Okay, we gotta double check those just to make sure everything's all right. But they should start gathering slash moving stuff. I think they're gathering first, which maybe I don't want. But anyways, we'll let it happen. Um, as you can see, we've got estimates for everything right now because what we're gonna need is a office. That's gonna be our next uh, next go to area. So I'm gonna build. A little hallway extending out this way and then that's gonna contain a small office for our manager slash bookkeeper slash basically our expedition leader as they're the closest to having relevant skills um, you know what as nice as that is I'm gonna mine that out and then we're gonna put that one chair that we should have made what you didn't make a wooden chair maybe because it's not in the stockpile it's not usable yet we'll let them move stuff around so yeah this is potentially going to be our living quarters there we go so we got or iron to work with those are gems I'll probably turn that into the tavern area so what i'm going to do for now stop all of that they've got plenty of that mined um that is going to be the office they're going to help haul stuff into this stockpile and the guy should be creating bin yeah he's already created the bins so we'll bin bin we'll make a few more bins now everything should be getting hauled inside um it's gonna fill up quick that's okay I'm gonna put uh, we're gonna ex start expanding a bit more here oops the gym we're gonna mine that up and then after that lower the priority a bit we'll get them to mine that out and then do we have our still so what we want is to we, yeah we don't have any empty storage item that's the problem oh and the storage space is already full so we want to expand this stockpile or just use whatever space is available except for the stairs of course um siege food as well let's make this one And then, so yeah, they've basically filled that up pretty quick. And they're not moving the stone because there's no place to put the stone. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a... Uh, this is where I wanted the living quarters to be. That's okay. Down here, we're going to make a stockpile for stone, not metal. Everything but the metal ores. And then I make another stockpile because this is just... I like to stay organized. We're going to make custom... And then we'll do a stone as well, but only metal ores. So that allow them to be a little more organized. And then where are we at? Um, the office should be ready now. Oh no, it's not because the chair. So we need to mine out some more space. Yeah, I think there's this weird hiccup. Oh, there's the, there is a chair there. Perfect. I see it now. Uh, furniture chair so we slam the chair there and then we uh, we're gonna set this as an office and that'll be accept okay and then so we want to go to our nobles and administrators and we're gonna select the manager handles the work orders to me that it's like the most important thing to actually start making stuff a little smoother for you so nobody's really got skills except for like I said the expedition leader and then we're also going to make him be our bookkeeper. He's got tons of skills, or our broker. And then the bookkeeper, not so much. But I don't want to make a full other office for this guy. 
just because he's got decent record keeping skills so we're going to let our expedition leader take that over as well and now it's telling us that he needs a meager study so a meager study is all it needs is one chair so once we've selected the zone we assign it to the person so nil our expedition leader is going to take that over and when we go back and look now we're going to have green so i also this is the amount of time he spends doing record keeping i like to just bump it down to three for that for the initial part of the game um yeah that makes sense to me so then uh yeah they're gonna haul some of the stone out of there and then in theory we should be I keep giving them more jobs to do. That's the problem. If you don't let them finish other jobs, they just queue things up at this early point in the game. Um, but overall, the dwarves seem reasonably happy. So, yeah, they got some bins. They're going to store some stuff. They're going to move the rocks and stuff around. So while they're doing that, I can go to the work order menu now and I can actually set them. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make brew drink from plant. So I like to set this as a lower threshold. So they always start at 10 and then that's going to be used per day. So it starts as a one time order, but I want to make sure that the amount of drinks available is less than we'll say 50. So that's the threshold as I call it, where if there's, if there isn't 50 drinks, then they're going to make this. But if there is, they're not even going to worry about it. And then we also want to make sure that this unfermentable leaves and fruit matches this brew drink. I'm pretty sure making it five and five will say that they don't, uh, they either they can or they can't because there's not enough materials. So we're going to also set uh, brew from plant, from fruit and from plant. Uh, so when I said it like this, in my mind, if they have enough, they'll make 10 per day. But we're basic oops five but we want to keep it for now at 50 anyways or yeah we'll change it up in a little bit here because I'm, I'm gonna constantly be going through the work orders and making sure they're up to i know i don't need to worry about that yeah i do kind of need to worry about that but uh we're gonna mainly worry about that okay and then the other important thing in my opinion is not wadden is wooden barrels and wooden bins so i'm gonna set this as make two wooden barrels if the amount of empty barrels is less than one and it's gonna need two logs so you have to have at least two logs so i think if i'm doing that right we should fluctuate between zero and three but anyways that's a good amount in my opinion and then we're going to do the same thing for wooden bin. Two. And empty bins and logs. So empty bins is less than one. Logs is greater than two. So that's going to keep us going for a bit right now. Uh, they'll automate some stuff for us. They're going to start making some bins. I'm going to make... No, I'm not going to change that yet. What's what's the next thing I really need? Maybe maybe more farming space. Yeah, I got the farm way up here. Ideally, this isn't going to be stored here. In fact, I probably should make this way smaller. But what I am going to do is have them dig out another 15 square area. And then we're going to select this stockpile and we're going to shrink it down now. So I'm going to keep three barrels up there. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to make another stockpile. Just temporarily for food drink because we don't want them running up all the stairs all the time just to get a drink right because what's going to happen in this room as we'll see shortly is i'm going to get some other room for uh constructing stuff so we'll set that actually no let's do four wide 
and then we're going to expand down here as well do a bunch of mining so yeah now that we've got bins as you can see the stockpile is way more organized so what we're going to do i think is we're going to shrink this one now and we're going to accept i'm going to go custom i'm going to take out furniture we're going to separate the furniture into its own pile uh, right here except furniture yep that looks good to me you know what we're going to take out this wall too here i want to get rid of that just expand the whole area yeah so it's telling me that they need an empty food storage bin so i think if i add that um to the work order it'll remove that error message but again i haven't played enough figure that all out yet um did we find all of the stuff and things i think we did magnetite yeah red tourmaline and the bauxite was here yeah okay so we can get rid of all those they're gonna keep mining so now what we want to do is we want to get focused on some other workshops so the main one we're going to need, we already have a carpenter, but we're going to build another one down here. And I like to make sure I build all the factories in the same color. So shale looks like it's going to be our primary. And then I'm going to be using limestone for the nicer stuff, I think. So we'll put a carpenter shop there. And then what we're going to do is now that we have that underway, we're going to turn this area into a wood stockpile. And then that's our furniture. Great. Let's expand this bigger. This is usually I'm gonna do waves of waves of furniture. Yeah, so see the dwarfs are just gonna go over there and drink now. Okay, but to really like they're pretty happy, but we wanna actually get them get them doing more constructive stuff. So we wanna have a craft area. Um let's yeah 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 three and a space we'll put the craft area there because i think I, what i want to do is i want to put a wood furnace here so shale and then yeah what we're gonna do even though i'm not gonna use it right now actually i'll just leave the space blank that's what i'll do um and then so we got a carpenter we got a crafts and more importantly we need a stone worker so we're gonna put the stone worker here and then we're going to now allow, ultimately, I think we're going to want blocks here. Custom bars, blocks, not metal. Stone clay, other materials. Yeah, I don't want metal blocks there. Okay, so blocks can go there, and then we can take out stone, clay, and other materials from this pile. So blocks will not be stored up there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have them mine out some more space here, since they're done mining. And this stockpile, we're going to go accept, custom, stone, uh, other stone oops maybe it's under economic shale so let's let's see why shale is economic so under uh, where is it under labor stone use you can see a list of the economic stone versus the other stone so shale is for making shale marimba bars now because i have no idea what that is and obviously the game contends it's not a super important thing they allow you to use it for non-economic jobs which is basic building walls and, and other stuff like that and it's not a magma safe material anyways which we'll worry about later but so i'm not super concerned shale is going to be our primary building material so shale will go there and then I think, what's the other one I want? Limestone? Um, is that what this is? 
Ooh, see, so lime star, limestone is going to be used for making steel bars. So I think what's going to happen then is bauxite is going to be a kind of our highlight material color. So I'm going to put a stockpile right there for custom stone, other stone, bauxite. So again, you don't have to be as organized as me, but from what I understand, it's going to increase your uh, shop's efficiency if the guys don't have to run far for the materials. So in my mind, they're going to grab it from here and they're going to empty it right into those boxes. So let's let them do their thing. And the next step is going to be digging out some... Uh, living quarters so i think what we're going to do is i'm going to go to the blueprint mode and blueprint mode is a i think a handy little feature that's going to allow us to set up a kind of a temporary plan so i want to have i want to have a tavern area that's got place for drinks and stuff built right in it so basically the food and drink is going to go to still be in the corner I'll have a couple rows for food and drink. Maybe let's make it go a little farther back. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have pathway going off there. Oh, the other thing I like to do, figure out how far you have to build. So that's the edge of the map there. If I go there, you can't build anything. So I set that up and then I erase all of this over here. So if I start getting close I can see that blue reference and know that I won't be able to build it over there so uh, we're gonna plan that out and then we'll do the kind of the same thing on the other side here uh, five oops is that four that was four and it will put we'll have a kitchen and a still in here and then there'll be a little pathway area that's going to uh, probably em exit out into backup storage or whatever. So this whole area is going to be our uh, our bar, our, ta our first tavern, our first hangout area. And I want it to have a little bit of a curve. And then that'll be... Let's do like a double doorway entrance. Like here and here and then we'll make a two wide hallway and then we'll add a i think what we'll do is put a dining hall up here so people can go and eat uh, actually i like to make my dining halls five wide and then you can have tables in the middle chairs on the side and then they'll have an entryway there and is there a center there is no center we do that now there's a center symmetry in my eyes is nice um see i could have left more space but we won't be too concerned about it and then i think what i want to do is i'm gonna make yeah you know what i want to change that i'm gonna erase that and that and that and that and that and then we're going to go and put that there. And then what we can do is to me, this will be a, a centered hallway uh, for the um, bedrooms. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go, with the, we'll go with that for now. And then so the other quick feature we'll talk about is using macros. I feel like people make it out to be harder than it actually is. The main thing you need is under settings and uh, game, you need to have the keyboard cursor enabled, which does make it kind of weird when uh, building certain things. It takes away the graphical uh, borders, so you don't know actually know where you're building. But you can use macros for mul multiple purposes. I've only scratched the surface, but we'll use it just as a blueprint for, for this example. So we want to plan out our rooms. So I think I'm going to make the rooms these just little three by or two by three squares so once we we want to position the cursor where we want it and how i'm going to do it is we're going to hit Control r to record as you can see in the top left corner it's flashing then you're going to hit enter to start and then you're going to keep 
enter and arrow keys to move it around the way you want. So all it's doing is memorizing these keystrokes. So what I want to do is I wanted to end back up where we started. So control record stop. And now we use control print basically to print out a nice little layout. And I think we can do control save and I can just do rooms. And I'm going to put to the right because that's which way it's going. So I think if we go control load, like I have other stuff saved, but I can use that now. I can load it up and then I can control print. So for example, control load, I was trying out some other room shapes and I was, you know, playing around. So in the end, I don't want all these rooms right this second. So now that we've kind of set up our layout of what we want, we can actually turn it into a, a project. So over here, it says change blueprints to standard selections. I don't like how the tooltips are cut off. I probably could fix it if I took the UI settings a bit more, but I'm not super concerned because I know what they're getting at. So now that we're there, we should be able to turn our blueprints into actual designs. So I want them to do the room first, and then they'll mine out the other one. So while we're doing that, we're gonna set a work order. I mean, uh, sorry wooden door or no I don't have to do wooden door I can do rock door so one other handy feature since I like to keep my base organized um, let's do seven rock doors is this little material used feature I find is very handy so most of the base is going to be shale so we're going to use bauxite as the door um, should have enough but actually what we want to be doing then I think is we want to set also set another work order for rock blocks. I want to turn the boulders into blocks and get more use out of them. So let's do make 10 rock blocks. Um, if the amount of rock blocks available, actually no, sorry, let's back that up. Change it to bauxite specifically. Make bauxite box, and then it'll change these parameters as well. So if you have less than, say, 50 bauxite blocks, make another 10. But you need at least... Oh, well, actually, no, I remember what I was doing. We're going to say bauxite is greater than 3 because 3 bauxite makes 4 blocks. So we're going to turn that to 12. So 3 times 4 is 12 blocks. So that, in my mind, uh, will keep us in a good range to make most use out of our bauxite. I think... Oh. Well, we might be able to use limestone as well. Uh, it looks like we're going to have an abundance of it. I thought it was going to be a little more hard to find. But we can also use limestone... So I think what we need to do then is also expand our area down here um, at your guys' convenience. Um, but as provided, did we... Somebody should be making beds. Do I have... I don't, I don't have a specific carpenter, do I? Carpenter. It's not a job for carpenters, so we're not going to worry too much about it. He shouldn't be chopping woods anyway, wood anyways, so... Um, work orders they're making the door bed make seven bed out of anything so we're gonna put uh use closest material oh i guess they haven't made any yet should be should have doors in there yeah everybody super busy or what storing digging drinking planting crafting oh get rid of this thing get rid of that we're actually going to get our guy to oops we don't want blueprints anymore we'll get him to chop down a couple more trees you don't ever want to i find run out of trees it uh leads to headache oh there's some trees there too that should be enough for now. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to make a little entrance soon. Block myself in. 
Okay. So let's go and pause it, make sure we're not getting too far ahead. We're going to go and build more farm plots. And then, yep, that's looking good. Looks like we need more place for booze. Okay, that's almost dug out. I want them to dig out that one. Oh, thought I turned that off. Anywho, they'll should be mining that out shortly. Castatite. I don't even know what that is. Shouldn't be any stones in there. Okay, so then I am going to make another area here for finished goods. And then out of this zone here, we're going to remove finished goods. Okay, and then, yeah, oh, well, I don't have any wood. I don't, I think that would explain some stuff. Uh, can we make this higher priority, or are you coming to, you coming to get her done? Wood, number one. Get her done. No, you're the woodcutter. Stop making that door. Get to chopping. There we go. Yeah. Can't do any of that because we got no wood. Yeah, chop all those trees for me and then you can go do whatever the heck you want to do. There we go. Okay. Like I said, don't run out of wood. Doesn't it's not it's not handy. Okay, finished goods, wood, done, done. So, three by three space there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mine out a five by five area. And actually what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of extra space. And that is gonna be for our um, caravan to show up and hang out at. So I want to make sure we're making enough plump helmets. We'll get another field going. Food, drink. Okay. Got lots of that. So then they're going to dig that out. We're going to... Oh, there we go. We've got some beds now. Oh, I thought I heard noise. We'll just pause it really quick while we go furniture, bed, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not quite enough. Uh, doors. We'll unpause it now so they can come and place these. Okay, still working on things. All in the wood down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set another zone here for uh it'd be under economic limestone because we are going to use it so there we go we got some bots bauxite blocks crafted and we're going to add a work order i'm not ready for migrants yet jeez but you know i keep my guys pretty happy so I don't know if it automatically pauses or if I changed it to pause, but I want to go there and see who we got coming. So we can go and check out. See, this is always up. I'm like, oh, five kids. Don't be bringing them. Milker, Mark's Dwarf. So I could potentially set this guy up as a militia commander. He could be like an archer, but I don't know if I want my archer to be the commander. Isn't this a brook? Can't you guys walk over it? I'm trying to figure out... Oh! I have yet to set a meeting place. Because I destroyed that wagon, they don't have a place to meet. So, let's put just a temporary meeting area right here. So, 
if I'm if I'm understanding the game oops what did I do if I'm understanding the game correctly so yeah he's gonna bring ugh ugh he brought like three of his kids what four of his kids five of, he brought all of his kids is that his spouse so it looks like a whole family showed up do you actually have skills are you guys worth it so both of them are confident marks dwarfs so i could potentially make them hunters but i don't have arrows and everything so we're not gonna worry about it woodcutter bone carver so these guys are all like hunters Okay, and because I got lungfish, I'm going to go and turn that setting on that we talked about. Uh, gather outdoor vermin remains. That's mainly so. Cherry flowers, is that what those are? Arrow bamboo. Cherry, oh, they're just flowers. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, because I didn't have meetings on, they weren't showing up initially but that's they're they're on their way here now if i go to stocks uh, under tools qrs tools no elemento i want to know about picks or if it won't show me because the guys are using them Shows me all those gloves. I'll look into it later. Um, but I can go to labor. Definitely you're going to be a woodcutter. And then... I think I'm going to turn... I'm gonna turn this guy. Actually, no. I think they're gonna go on the uh, the crew. They're gonna go on the the firing squad. Okay. So did did you guys place the beds yet? No, you're still waiting to place the beds. And then what I what else I need is a bigger stockpile area. So quite often what I know that's too high up. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mine out this entire area here. Even though I don't need more blocks. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna mine out, turn this area into our tavern. Um we're gonna put do we have enough doors now? Nope. Uh, furniture, bed. Nope. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our digging lair. Actually, let's unpause the game. And I'm going to go rooms to the right. Um, six. Seven times two is... 14. I don't know where the kids sleep. So we'll just go like that. We'll dig out all that. And then we're going to move. How do I have what do I have for doors? Oh yeah, right. So I also want to build a trading depot here. Select material after placement. Two of those and one of those. We're going to need that. Oops. Wood's been hauled. I need more place for shale. That's the problem. I'm gonna make a dumping area down here for now. So 
So we're okay on food and drink for now. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go move our still down here. Select material. Um, we're going to use bauxite. And then, so, okay, we don't have a work order for doors. So, rock door. Make two out of bauxite. If the amount of bauxite is less than. Yeah, I like to have a few doors floating around. Okay, and then because we got a drink order already up shouldn't matter so we're gonna now add that stockpile like I talked about uh, yeah we'll make it fairly large except um, custom food drink drink and then we're going to uh, I'm not even gonna worry about the um, Actually, yeah, let's put it, even though I don't have any work orders for it, workshops, farming, kitchen, select material, use the blocks, same deal, we'll put accept, custom, we're going to do all food, except, oops, all food, except seeds, and drink. And then we can select this area here and change this to a meeting area like so, except we're going to go and get rid of this work in, or meeting area. And then we're going to turn this into our first inn and tavern, the oily orange. Now, I like a okay, I want to turn this to citizens and long-term residents only. I like to change up the name of my tavern to something I picked so we can go change up the parameters. I think I like to do two adjectives for a... So, um, pick the last one. The... Uh, the relieved worm. Do I want to do the worm? Now let's change the worm to hmm. The chance the wordy dine. No, I don't like that. The blight spicy. What about front compound? No. No. The savage spicy? No. There we go, jester. The drunken jester? Or lumen. Or lumen. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. The drunken jester. Great. Great name for a tavern. Meeting hall. Okay, so they've now officially got a place to hang out. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'll keep the still here as a backup. And this room here, we're going to take way less food out of it. So there we go. We've got our... Oh, why didn't it... Can I, can I make, no, anyways, we got that going, so I think that's pretty much going to be it for our starting episode of the top cities, Tolisaneth, in the windy dimensions, or the dimensions windy, or something like that, um, yeah, we've got everything basically set up. I guess the only thing I wanted to do is I like to follow suit of 
quill, our dwarfs got to drink out of something. They ain't going up and putting their mouth under the tap. So we're going to make bauxite and let's make it out of, should we do shale as well? We'll just do shale mugs and we'll make five at a time. If there's less than 100, no, we'll do 50 at the beginning. Actually, no, maybe you should do 10 and of empty shale mugs. Yeah, we'll do 10 at a time. I got like 15 dwarfs already. Shale mugs so they can drink out of. And then I want them to be making some crafts. So I think to burn some limestone, what we're going to do is rock crafts. Make 10 basically per day, but we want to do it out of limestone. Um, and um, is it, there's 10 limestone. We don't want to, uh, wait, we don't want to run out of limestone. Okay. So we got barrels being made. We got doors being made. We got beds being made. Um, furniture. Do I have a work order for bed? I didn't make one yet. That's essential. So we don't need a ton of beds. But make two beds. What do we have for the door? I think it's the same. Um, Got to have two logs. And the amount of beds is less than two. And then so that should get them onto some crafting. They should be hanging out. Do I have my frames per second lowered? Seems kind of low frames per second already. But hey. Socialize. Socialize is good for you. Oh yeah, right. We're going to expand this stockpile. Like that. Except. And then we'll go this stockpile. Expand like that. We'll figure all that out later. Holy merciful magnetite. Like, this entire floor is <coughs> magnetite. Okay, so we got bedrooms going. Um, doors, the last thing I'll do here. Oops, closest. Is we're going to go bedroom, and we're going to use the multi feature. You could paint each room individually, but if you go multi and just go like that, it knows what's supposed to be a bed. So here we go. We got seven bedrooms there. Um... Oh, did I get rid of the dormitory? I guess I did. Oh, no, I didn't. It's right there. I just changed the room. So, I'll leave that there. They're going to make some more beds. They're going to continue digging. Um, yeah, we're going to put a backup stone stockpile for each up here. Custom. Stone. Economic. Limestone. Accept. Custom. Stone. Uh, economic. Shale. Accept. Custom. Stone. Other. Bauxite. Okay. And then... Except, but this one is going to be, what did we call it? Magnetite. Custom, stone, metal, um, magnetite. Okay. And then in this layer here, oops, this stockpile. We're going to make a custom, and I'm pretty sure coal. I think that encompasses... No. Yeah, we do want that, but we're also going to want for bi bituminous 
leg coal and lignite if we find it anyways we're gonna put a uh, stop here in this episode i think that's a really good like start from for in an hour we basically we don't have this place enclosed but we're pretty much ready to do some trading when the time comes like the other thing i would probably recommend is getting uh no let's make it getting the gems right those are easy things that you can sell to your first a uh first caravan or whatever so like these ones here those ones and those ones i'll mine all those out and then it's going to make great great trading material well that's it everybody episode one hope you all enjoyed it hope you got something out of it hope it wasn't too boring i'm going to be back and keep this going uh uploading content via video format rather than streaming but i'll probably will be doing streams on the odd time and then those videos will also be saved to the channel and you'll be able to see what you missed i appreciate it i'm sin welcome in for the win Thanks for coming by.